So with the introduction of uh, Int Hui from um, Namek Vegeta's banner, that made me kind of reflect on one of the most useless tropes in Dokkan Battle, and that would be the, um, <clears throat> I guess, the minion uh, banner unit. That never really helps the new character. I guess the biggest defender would be Zangya, right? Because, um, yeah, as you can tell how bad Zangya is, um, I only have her at SA2. And uh, she's been in the game for quite some time. Um, full level 1 links. She was a debuffing character in the legendary Goku event meta. Uh, yeah. So, um, well, I guess Extreme Super Battle Road at the time was picking up. But, um, yeah, I don't even think we had, what, Terrifying Conqueror, Extreme Super Battle Road. It was just like movie bosses. And guess what? Zangi is not a movie bosses. Um, there's a lot of characters here that, um, now we'll, we'll just start. This team is extremely weak. I did want to make sure I grabbed a member of each of the most memorable sort of, um, squads in Dragon Ball, just as a series in a whole, right? Now, one of the biggest issues with a lot of these characters is we're going to go over to here. These guys, okay, these guys are actually not as bad, um... This guy and the Modern Raisin. Obviously, I didn't bring a Modern Raisin. I just wanted to make sure I got at least one representative from each of these major forces in Dragon Ball. But these guys just need a um, planetary destruction ally. Uh, where is it? Or... Wait, is this just space traveling warriors? Hold on a second. So they're actually really decent. Because they need, it's a Modern Raisin who need uh, planetary destruction. Okay, so that's good, that's good. But if we move on to, like, a character like Thouser, uh, he gets stats per cat, uh, Terrifying Conquerors, and then he gets, what is it, like, additional? I believe it's an additional, right? Launches two additional attacks. Uh, yeah, when there's a cooler. He needs a cooler, okay? He needs a cooler. Um, now, here's the problem with Thouser. Cooler's a big bad boss's character, and guess what this guy doesn't have? So he wants to be on rotation with Cooler, but that's never going to happen. That is, it's just not going to happen. Uh, what, where else? Like, what else are we looking at? Like, Zangya, I believe she wants a Bojack. Yeah, she wants a Bojack to do a, uh, an additional super. There you go. Well, it's a medium chance to be a super, I guess. But, um, Zangya does not have big bad bosses. She's also not on movie heroes. So, everywhere Bojack goes, Zangya is not sure to follow because she's not on movie bosses. For some reason, these guys don't get movie bosses. Um, we go to Dodoria, right? Dodoria, who do you want? Uh, Frieza. Uh, yeah. Great, yeah, additional with a great chance to be a super when there's a Frieza on the team. And a lot of these characters are debuffing and raising their own stats on super. So that additional, it's, it's going to be missed, right? It's going to be felt if you don't have this up. And we can move into Ginyu. I believe he needs another Ginyu Force ally. Uh, yeah, he gets 10% attack and defense up to 50 per Ginyu Force ally, and then he supports Ginyu Force ally by uh, 30%, and then he's super effective against all types, but well, then there's another Ginyu Force ally on the team. Thankfully, he's the leader, so um, that does count for him. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a tragic state. Like, this is, uh, this guy right here, he's in a bit of, he's been, he's got a bit of a different spot because he's so old, his passive just, yeah. <laughs> He just gets 40% damage reduction for 7 turns. Um, we're still waiting on an Awakening for this guy. Um, they are in Terrifying Conquerors, not Space Shuttling Wars, which they really should be. Um, but yeah, they're on, they're on the 170 at least for Ginyu. I believe this guy doesn't have a 200% uh, whatsoever, unless... Let me see. No, yeah, I don't think he's got a 200% at all. Uh, I guess we would run the rotation like this somehow. We got loyalty up. Can't get a stack. I mean, yeah, this team sucks. It's literally just a... I don't even know how I would describe them. Like a, like a display. It's, it's We're literally just doing a display. We're hopping into a butt-cheek easy event. Frieza does hit harder at the end, but right now he's not doing anything. No. Dokkan could really benefit from just making a minions category. 
right? Just there's all these characters. They want they want the freezer. They want the Bojack. They want the cooler, right? I I, I still just don't understand why they don't just give these guys their own category. They like they they really because they can't be on they can't be on the teams with Perlis, Bojack, Cooler, um, and Frieza all the time. Because you know eventually those characters are gonna want they're gonna want their big bad bosses, up, right? Bojack is Bojack wants to be on the team with Turles, not Zangya. Uh, oh, and yeah, here's another thing we need to go over. Here's one other thing we need to discuss. All these characters have their specialized links, right? The Ginyu Force actually isn't that bad because that's a decent roster right there. And we have the Indel on Ginyu that I don't have. Um. Oh, I can't highlight them. I'm trying to tap on the screen. You know how like that little blue circle that pops up when you click on something in Dokkan? I guess it doesn't show up on the screen. Well, you, got, you guys can see him. Give me, he's right there. Um, and then we go over here. It's Cooler's Armored Squadron. We can go to, uh, let's see, the Heracline. Not one of these characters is viable right now. Galactic Warriors. Uh, what else does she have? Nah, that's it. Uh, and then we can go over to, um... Go over to Dodoria. Freeze's minion. You know it's bad when there's rares and, uh, SRs in the second round. Freeze's army is a bit, I mean, it's a bit bigger, but I mean, it's not... Like, yes, 10% attack and 20% defense is crazy. You're just not getting this up, though. Because uh, here's the thing. He shares it with AGO First Form Frieza, but uh, First Form Frieza kind of has a more important link that he has uh, that he wants to have active, uh, and it's kind of called uh, Big Bad Bosses. Uh, we don't want this garbage. What else are we looking for? I don't think these guys have it. Yeah, there's... I, I mean, Mechanical Menace, I guess, is a niche link, but... If we ever get a, just a 200% artificial life arms, that'll come into play. Uh, and then, we, yeah, here we have... What is it? Team Turles. So we have Destroyer of the Universe, which is a slightly better word, because all the Turleses have this. And then we've got Team Turles. Why? <laughs> Why does this exist? Yeah, 5% crit chance and 2 key. Uh, huh. Well, that's not great. Well, it's whatever. None of the Ginyus are stacking again. Well, yeah, they're, do they're doing additionals. Now, one easy thing they could do... Cooler's Armored Squadron already... A lot of these characters already have these yet. Well, it's not a lot. I guess it's only Cooler's Armored Squadron, right? When Zhang get easy A's, they can easily, easily make her viable by instead of just making her want Bojack on the team, how about we... And her, and her animations are good, too. That's the issue. Well, her, uh, the art for her uh, anime. No, no, that's a good animation. Hold on, no. That animation, it just, it's just good. Instead of one Bojack, how about if the entire team is Terrifying Conquerors, then she gets the abilities... This way, even if Bojack's not on the team, which you probably don't want him here, or not even that you wouldn't want him here, just Bojack wouldn't want him here on this team. <laughs> if we can easy it for STR Bojack, um, that's going to be a buff to all these kinds of teams, but Bojack is going to perform worse on a team with a bunch of characters without big bad bosses. And like how Dodoria, Dodoria wants a Frieza. I mean, we're going to have to wait for him to easy it because this is a, he's already useless, day one useless. Um, when he easy A's, we would want that to be, maybe if the entire team, like, when there's an ally whose name includes Frieza, or if there's a full team of Terrifying Conquerors, right? They need to have a workaround, because we can't, we cannot do that, right? We, we cannot just toss a big bag of bosses on here. And, um, expect him to just, you know, act like he's on a full Terrifying Conquerors BBB team. The only characters who actually, I guess, um, 
who still have, like, without changing anything, or right, without adding an extra character, um, category, the Ginyu Force team, they do have a shot at, uh, greatness once again. Like, Easy A could easily bring them back in the game. An Easy A for AGL Ginyu, sub Easy A's for Rakuman, uh, Goldo, uh, Jason Berger, sub Easy A, Super Easy A for Tech LR Ginyu, Super Easy A for Physical LR Ginyu, and then we also have the, um, Int LR Ginyu who dropped. Um, there, what do you drop on Global? Who do you drop with? He did drop- no, he dropped- I don't think he dropped with Turles, I forgot when he dropped. He, he didn't drop at the same time as JP, that's all I remember. <laughs> but wouldn't it- like, I'm just looking at this roster, wouldn't this be cool? And just interesting and fun? He all, all these characters with some goofy names, right? Almond, Raisin, Salsa, right? Like, all the- all the junk characters. Could basically just be thrown on here. Now another issue with the um, like with the Bojack side of things is uh, we still have car, we don't have T wars for um, Bujin, Goku, uh, or Beto, right? But it's just Zangya who has her T war. Um, she wouldn't even have any like other options to run with her. I also don't believe we have, um... I don't think we have T-Wars for the, uh... What's his name? Garlic Jr. Um, henchman. That's another thing. What would they call the category? Would it be, like... They call it, like, Minions? Henchmen? Lackeys? Like, what would the... What would it be called? The Goons? Nah. Nah, nah they can't... <laughs> the, the Goons. The Goons. <laughs> oh, no. It's turn five, we're still only on second floor, but I'm surprised he hasn't killed us. That just shows how weak this Brazer is. But we're really just messing around. We could also use a, like a Zarbon. A transforming Zarbon. The reason Zarbon's not here is because Ellie needed... Again. I'm only bringing one representative, just so they can all fit on the team. We only have seven slots here. So I didn't want to bring, um... Like, the Doria, and then Zarbon and the Doria, right? I had Amon and Brazen, Diaz and Kakao, and then Amon and Raisin, because we want to just get as many as possible on here. But, um, I guess... Like, uh, what's his name? The Doria and, uh, Ginyu. They all- they do have some links together, because, uh... I believe Dodoria has uh, Frieza's army. Yeah, he does have Frieza's army. Now we could put Int first form Frieza on here, but he wants a super boss. So that's that. Like you can see how just these category restrictions kind of just make a lot of characters worthless. Like you'll you'll bring a char they'll drop a character whose best team is a team that needs help, and then they're restricted to a team that does need help. Right? It's like for, uh, drop Frieza. Like oh yes. Look at Bloodlines back in action, man. Terrifying Conquerors. We got a scouter on the team. Now, uh, super bosses or super bosses. Take it or leave it. Because, um, yeah. <laughs> you know, Cell Max and Adriel Broly, man. They really need that help. Uh, I don't know what Cell Max is going to do without our boy. Int first form Frieza and his scouter man saving the day. Yeah, we got Frieza's army and loyalty. Oh, loyalty is damage reduction. Actually, look at all these characters that have loyalty. That's five percent damage reduction. That's it. That's like look at this roster. That is T. That is full team worthy, right? Yeah, that's actually really good. And he has loyalty too. Okay, hold on. Let me bring up this. Let me pull up that uh, this robot guy. So the cyclop, the slight, the cyclopean guard. Okay. So I got allergies. My nose is kind of, kind of tingly, but uh, it will be all right. 
So he's got Mechanical Menaces, which at uh, level 10 is 5% damage reduction. Loyalty, which at level 10 is 5% damage reduction. Uh, tough as Nails, which at Link level 10 is 5% damage reduction. So they're getting 15% damage reduction, and they're starting off at 40%. So they're going to have 55% damage reduction um, uh, just in their passive, and just right 15% extra damage reduction. If these guys ever awaken an easy A, we could be looking, I guess, pretty decent, especially on an artificial life form team. Huh. Yeah, we need a new artificial life form leader. Just 200. 200% to artificial life form. Don't try to throw any other garbage in there. Just Carnival LR. Artificial life forms. You got it, right? Uh, let's see. Hidoria doesn't need anything. Uh, Salsa. We would. One thing about Salsa, since he already did get his easy A, we're waiting on a producer's letter. That would give. Ah, um, uh, what's it called? Not T Wars. Uh sub easy A's and um right non Dokkan Fest T Wars uh to Easy A. Cause they did say super easy A's are for LRs and Dokkan Fest. They didn't say it wasn't for these characters, but we would probably be waiting on a producer's letter. It would probably be a couple of years, maybe a couple of months, uh before we get the announcement. Um or maybe it will never happen. Although I think if Dokkan continues and sort of kind of hits the wall again, this could be a very easy, easy way to give us um, it's another couple of you know, it's a couple of months or maybe even a year or two of freshness with um, sub sub easy A super easy A's and then free to play T U R super easy A's. Although they still haven't done a free to play L R super easy A. But that doesn't mean they can't, right? Because they did say LRs. They didn't, speci they didn't specify summonable free to play, they just said LRs and no contest. And to be fair, I don't even feel like playing out though, so I might just back out uh, in a second. I guess one thing I... I'm pretty sure this self's an easy aid. He get easy aid not long before the tech... Um, the tech... Final... Not final form. It was a fourth form cooler. Um, the free to play tech fourth form cooler. Easy aid during the worldwide. Two years ago. I believe they... Uh, Cooler's Armored Squadron, Easy Aid, before, or just a couple of months before. And that free-to-play Cooler did not have Big Bad Bosses, but instead had Cold Judgment, um, which they do share with, I guess, Cooler, Cooler's Armored Squadron, right? I mean, I can pull that up real quick. So as you can see, uh, we have Cold Judgment here, and then, boom. I mean, they wouldn't share Cooler's Underling. That's a, that's another mind-blowing thing. Okay. Why why is Cooler's Underling a link? All the characters, well, the one character that's actually a TUR that has Cooler Cooler's Underling needs to be run on rotation, or at least on the team, at least on the team, with a Cooler who doesn't have Cooler's Underling. I guess it's not really as stupid as I'm making it seem. Because, um, the real stupid part is that we have a link that can't be activated. The, the, the link can't be activated in the first part, so I, I'm trying to, I'm over here trying to make it seem so mind-blowing that Cooler doesn't have it. No one else has, no one else has it. Not a single character has this link, so, yeah, cool. But, uh, if we're talking about the Ginyu Force, right? Super easy, eh? Boom. Uh, where's the tech one? The tech one, he's got Goku. It always throws me off because he's got Goku's face in the yellow. It's literally just Goku with a scouter. So I always just breeze past it like, yeah, hey, you're you're not a villain. But yeah, here he is. Uh, I'm a, a super easy for this guy. Where's uh, AGL getting you at? Boom. 
regular easy A. We can pull up, um... I guess Rakuman, yeah, Rakuman Golda would be up here. But, uh, sub easy A. And then we can get Birder and Jace. Uh, Birder and Jace, Birder and Jace, Birder and Jace, where are they? Why can't I find Birder and Jace? I passed them. No, no, oh wait, oh, I only have, what, 69%? 79. Uh, sub easy A, right? And then we have LR Ginyu. Um, actually, hold on. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We would need a new character, actually. We would need, like, a new Ginyu. It could just be a standalone Jace, standalone Rakum, standalone Goldo, whatever they just, right? A free to play card, sub easy A. I mean, not sub easy A. A free to play card, um, uh, like a side banner unit, and, um, the, the team would be back in action with a couple of easy A's, you know. Uh, I guess Slug. Uh, Slug doesn't really have any minions. He, they might, like, he might get a banner unit minion if we get a Dokkan Fest Slug. This guy is he is. He would be part of the overall terrifying Conquerors team, right? These two need a Frieza. I mean, like, let's count the amount of Friezas with Frieza's army. One, two. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, cool. I mean, we're not gonna count these guys, right? So two characters. Yeah, two characters um, on the Frieza zombie that are actually named Frieza. So if we want them with their full potential up, with the extra 20% defense, um, I don't know who we're going to be running them with. I mean, they're bad anyway. I'm just saying, like, even in even in a world where these guys are decent, like, they're, they're trash. And not, like, how, how old are these guys? Like, three years old? Oh, uh, yeah, they're three years old. Even if these guys were decent and not three years old, uh, we wouldn't be getting much use out of them. Uh, the Dragon Ball Heroes, I'm gonna leave... I'm kinda gonna leave that out, because I'm not even that well-versed in Dragon Ball Heroes. I don't even like... Because I'm pretty sure at one point, this guy becomes a good guy or something. I, I don't know, like, I don't even know what's going on, to be to be fair. Like, I don't know who the minions are, because these guys have loyalty, right? This guy has loyalty. Um, Alms has loyalty. I don't even know who they're being loyal to. Like, who's... Who's the big bad boss on that squad? I have no clue. Um... Ah, uh, Toa... No, Toa kind of does her own thing, yeah. She's not... She doesn't have loyalty. Wait, I guess we'll wrap it up here. I've babbled on for quite some time. About a category that doesn't exist, but it should. Um, you know, minions, blackies, goons... Um... What else? What else would we call them? I don't know. <laughs> I, do you figure it out, Dokkan? I'm pretty sure Dokkan will find the worst possible way to describe this group of characters if we ever, if we ever do get a category for this. But uh, this this video was inspired by Int Kui and his absolute worthlessness uh, to the Dokkan Fest Vegeta, and um, you know he gets himself tossed onto the, I guess, minion team. Right? His best his best team would be a hypothetical Guinea Force team that is decent, right? Uh, as, as as you can see, um, we need a, these characters need a home. These characters just need a home. I'll catch you guys in the next video.